Hey everyone, uh, thanks for joining me. Um, today we are unveiling the collector's edition for Star Wars The Old Republic. And first of all, before we get going on actually the unveiling of it, I wanted to show you the, the massiveness and the size of this box. Um, I'm going to do a couple comparisons. I'm going to show you, uh, I did the Rift unveiling a while back, and this is the um, box for Rift here, the collector's edition. And then uh, right next to it, I'm going to put uh, the collector's edition for WoW. So uh, for those of you that have seen either of these boxes, uh, you know how big they are. Uh, this thing is just massive. It's a huge cube that um, takes up a lot of space. Uh, my <laughs> first inclination on this is if they keep doing this at every expansion, where are you going to hold all these things? So anyhow, let's get into this. Um, first of all, this uh, edition, it's it's covered by a plastic sleeve, kind of like the Rift uh, edition was, and, which is really nice. It keeps the box in a good uh, good condition. Um, as you can see, it's just it has a little bit of the information on the back of it here. Um, tells you what's inside, so uh, let's let's get to that. That's what everybody wants to see. So uh, here we go. Very great, uh, good graphics on the outside. Uh, the box is made really well. It's a nice, um, you know, sturdy box, and the cutouts on it are amazing um, for each piece that's inside the box. Here you have the um, the authenticator key. This is great for your uh, to keep your account safe. So I uh, definitely want to use that. You can also order those separately online they've already ha had those offered um, let's see let's turn the box around here um, looks like we have a book here and this is the journal of master uh, ghost are all here and this is uh, really nicely done oh wow yeah the graphics in this are uh, pretty amazing so um, uh, this would be a, a a review in itself just going over this book so and it looks like uh, there's a couple things back here. What do we have here? It's like a map. Uh, Jedi Temple floor plan. This is very cool. Um, this is good enough of a map that you could um, you could put this on a wall or something. Again, um, you know, I whenever I do reviews on things like this, I really would say that uh, the manufacturers would be great if they would roll these things. So if you did ever want to put them into a a um, uh, frame or something like that you they wouldn't be all folded up and have markings in them okay let's see this looks like this is going to be the uh, the game itself let's get this open here it's really nice it's a metal uh, metal case for it and what we have in here is uh, some of the information on it security setup uh, basic information on it this is really cool I don't know if you can see it through here looks really good um, one, two, three discs, and looks like there's some the next thing here we have <clears throat> looks like another map of some kind. This one's really nice, all full color. This says of the known galaxy, so I'm going to assume this is going to have all of the planets that you can eventually uh, travel to. Oh yeah, and it's going to show you all of the uh, system and everything. This is a really nice map. Once again, this would be really great if it didn't have all these crazy folds in it, so you could um, uh, put it up on a wall or something or hang it up. Um, eventually, hopefully, they'll sell these down the road where you can buy them aftermarket. And let's see, what do we have here? Soundtrack. Okay, that's very cool. Uh, the only thing disappointing about this is it's kind of in a cardboard sleeve, and that's it. Um, it would have been nice if they would have been included another metal case or something a little bit more fancy, but it's really nice. I believe this soundtrack is uh, exclusive to the collector's edition. Okay, let's get to the part that everyone wants to see. It is the uh, collector's statue here that comes in the box, and this is the Darth Malgus statue. And let's take a look at this. It may take me a second to get this out of the box here. Okay, as you can see, it comes foam in line. This is um, made by, I don't know if you can read it there, General Giant Limited. And let's see if I can do this without breaking anything. Okay, well, here he is. And this looks great. He's got a saber on the side. And let me get him out here. It's a great looking figure. Um, he's non-posable. He's, he's pre-posed, so you're um, you're stuck with the style he's at. 
Uh, let's see, there's a card in here. And ah, this is a certificate on, of on, authenticity here. So um, you have the real thing. Um, well, folks, that's it. Um, this is a really good looking setup. Once again, this thing is huge. I mean, it's a it's the biggest collector's uh, edition box I've ever had, and um, I pretty much am a, a collector's edition uh, lover. So um, yeah, this thing's really massive. If you don't have room to store something like this, uh, you may want to think twice about it. But if you want all the goodies that it comes with, um, I really recommend it. It's a it's a great looking box. Um, definitely worth the money. And uh, thanks again for watching.